Hey gang, this is Mystic Virgo 4444. Tonight I am going to do a reading for the Sagittarian and the Virgo, uh, the, the, the gang. Uh, I want to thank you all this week. You all have really, really come out very, very strong for me. Everybody has, and I really, really appreciate you all for that. But Sagittarius and Virgo, you all showed out this week, and I really, really appreciate all the lovely, lovely comments. You all gave the most views this week, so I'm going to do a, uh, a special reading for you all and as a bonus to thank you all so very much. And then thank everybody who, who uh, responded and who resonated with the readings. But uh, Virgo and Sagittarius, you all were wonderful. Thank you so very much. I'm going to do some shuffling now to see what I can come up with. I'm going to do the Sagittarius reading first. Uh, if you all or if you all resonate, please like and subscribe and also pass along. <clears throat> if you don't resonate, maybe it's nothing in that reading for you at that particular time. Maybe you can always come back and visit to see if there's something there that resonates with you. Uh, you all can feel free to go back and look at any of the other videos I posted this week. And again, I'd like to thank you so very much. And now this reading is going to be done for the Sagittarius as a as a bonus this week for you all being so uh, gracious and leaving the comments and, and visiting my, my channel. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very, very much. So the universe and the spirit guides to come into, into the element and let me know what message I'm going to deliver or what I need to deliver to the Sagittarius. Okay. Hope you all had a good week. Hope you all enjoyed the weekend. Spirit guides, may just give me a clear, a, a clear message for the Sagittarius. What do you want the Sagittarius to know this week? The end of this week, what do they need to know? Give me a message for them so I can tell them what they need to know. What do you need me to deliver? Spirit guides and angels, what is in the air for the Sagittarius tonight? Or whatever they look at this timeless reading. Time is reading for my Scorpio gang. Let's see what we have here, gang, for, for this reading. <clears throat> this tablecloth. I got some a different tablecloth. It's kind of a little all over the place, but I'll make do for now. All right. So let's see what we have in store for the Sagittarius. And I'm, I'm not getting stopped shuffling yet, so I'm going to keep shuffling. Sagittarius, what fell? I had a um, seven of cups to fall. Maybe a lot going on with somebody. Sagittarius, see. Oh, I don't keep this tablecloth from slipping. <laughs> what is happening with the Sagittarius? Give me a complete and guided intuitive reading for the Sagittarius. What is in store for the Sagittarius? I have the Knight of Cups, the Empress, the Magician, the Devil, the Two of of uh, that? Two, two of Peps. It maybe somebody has some uh, uh, heartburn. I'm saying Peps. So if you have heartburn, uh, eat about a tablespoon of mustard. You'll be all right. But I have the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Seven. Of, of our wands. So let's see what we have here for the, the bonus reading here for our Sagittarius Friday night. Let me see what I have here for you all in this timeless reading. So anytime you look at it, if it's a year from now, it's still going to be relevant to you if you resonate with it. So maybe there were some choices. I know what it, exactly what this is. Okay. I have the Seven of Cups here. Maybe someone in your life or maybe you had a choice that you wanted to make here. And it was a hard decision for you to make because it was just so many appealing options for you here, Sagittarius. That that sounds about right. You know, uh, you all having so many different choices, probably in the love department or however it works. Uh, there's some kind of feelings that you want to sh you want to share your feelings with somebody. And this person was very, very or is very, very important to you. Very, very beautiful, a very, very handsome and enchanting, almost as if as if they weren't real. Uh, I think this person means a lot to you. You possibly mean a lot or you could possibly mean a lot to this person because this person brings you things and you things you have never seen and never, never experienced before. This person, this person to you is magical, enchanting, um, almost as if 
they had if they could have their own show it'll be something in, in the show like wizard or, or 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 one of those harry potter harry potter movies i've never seen them i've heard of them but it looks like this person can be so magical they can have their own kingdom their own uh, invite inviting kingdom because they have so much to offer so much beauty so much elegance they're very very elegant very very poised very beautiful uh, maybe a little uh, thick around the, the waist and that's okay with you that's fine you don't you don't care about anything like that they're still beautiful to you um, and it's like there's with a the devil card and so many changes that's exactly what it is you had a lot of choices and decisions to make but you want to make this decision but you're still juggling and trying to figure out are you making the right decision Will this person accept? Will this? Will this? Will this enchanting beauty or handsome um, GQ model accept my offer of love, of passion, of of of, of amore? You know that kind of, of of sexiness about. There's some something sexy about this reading. Very very intimate. Very very calm, cool, collected, and very very um, <clears throat> calming and cooling and. Um, passionate. Uh, you're, this person is juggling their mind or maybe you're juggling because you've had so many different options and you really haven't made up, made up your mind, but you're finally at the point to where you're ready to just stop settling and you're ready to choose one person, one beauty, the beauty here. You're ready to choose this beauty, the empress. You know why? Because she got it like that <laughs> or he got it. However you want to look at it, whatever side you, you uh, relate to, male or female, because this person is your equal. You all were meant to be together. You all were um, were born for each other. Were born to be each other. It's like you all were um, were were betrothed. You know, before the unit, before you were created by the universe, by heaven, by God. You all were betrothed to be together. Literally, uh, the world saw before you all were even born, even even uh, thought about that you all were going to end. You all were going to be together. It was already chosen. It was already decided. And the only thing you all can do, both of you all, is, is break out of your ego and meet somewhere in the middle and be together. And be together. Because you all are thinking about each other. You all care about each other. You all love each other. Some of you haven't met this person yet, but you're about to meet this person. So get ready. It's coming. It's coming big time. Yes, it is. Here, Sagittarius. A, a, a special union. A special reunion. Um. I just see a lot of a lot of a lot of caring, a lot of um, kind of like you know how a wavelength goes. It's, it's like up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't see that. All I see now is just straight across. Really, really calm, cool, collected, uh, and loving, and, and caring, and emotionally stable. This person may have not ever told you how they felt about you. You may have had an inkling about it. They may have brought you cards or something for Valentine's Day or birthday saying certain things. Oh, that was sweet. That was nice. But this person is going to, is going to tell you how they feel. It's going to come out of their mouth. They're going to finally sit down, get rid of the ego and tell you how they feel about you. They're going to they're going to they're going to they're going to spill their guts because you mean the world to them. You mean so much to this person that this person doesn't know if they're coming or going because you see this. This rocky. This rockiness behind this person who's juggling, that's how his stomach feels. Every time he gets ready or she gets ready to tell you how they feel about you, they get queasy in the stomach area. So y'all might be having some stomach issues. Okay, get some pepto bismol and calm your stomach down. But anyway, they make, your, they make you flutter. They make your heart flutter. They make your liver leak with love. You're just gushy over this person. You don't know how to tell this person how you feel, but you're about to. You're about to spill it. You're about to tell this person how much they mean to you. Yes. That's, 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 it's beautiful. It's so <clears throat> it's so calm. Uh, so so um, it's just it's just intimate, not 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 intimate in, in, a, in a sexual way, gang. But but it's just really, really. You know, what I'm talking I'm, I'm talking kind of calm. It's, it's so loving and so caring. And when they come to you, they're going to sit you down. They're going to want to sit down and they're going to want to talk to you. And look, and they say, look, there's something we need to talk about. I don't want you to say anything, Empress. I want you to listen to what I have to tell you. Can you turn the volume down on the TV? Because I want you to listen to what I have to say. And this person is going to tell you 
going to spill his guts. She's going to spill her guts. going to tell you everything how they feel. They're going to tell you the wrongs that they've done. They're going to tell you why they stood you up or why they, why they had to call off the relationship. They're going to tell you what was going on in their lives, why they had to break off things with you. They're going to tell it all because they care about you, because they love you. They care about your health. They care about your well-being. And, they, and you care about this person, too. You care about this person, too. This person holds you in very, very high regard. They care about you. They love you. They miss you. They're, they're, they're coming. They're coming. They are coming. The queen, the, the queen of wands. They are coming. And right now, the queen of wands, she doesn't even know you're coming. Or he doesn't even know you're coming. <laughs> They're looking off. They don't know. It's like you're going to sneak up behind them and then you're going to scare this person. Not literally, but you're going to pop up when, when this person least expects you. You're going to tell this person how you feel. And they're going to be and you're going to be like, what? What did you just say? OK. And they're going to be shocked that you're that you're speak, that you're speaking to them in such a calm, cool demeanor and, and you're actually telling this person how you feel. They're going to they're going to just they're going to explode because they, they're not expecting you to do that. They're not expecting you to tell you how to tell you how they feel because you have never done that before or vice versa. However, it resonates. Somebody has never spoken their true feelings, but they're about to now. I'm going to clarify the devil card. <clears throat> the page of wands. I'm sorry, the page of swords. So it looks like it looks like they're probably watching you uh, and, and not only watching you, but they're probably uh, reminiscing. Or they're probably at the very least, uh, you know how when you're watching a soap opera and, and and they go back in time and look at things that have happened. Like if somebody slept with somebody, say, for instance, on, on Days of Our Lives and, and somebody mentions something and then they'll think back in their mind. They'll put themselves back in their moments where they were laying down, sleeping around with whoever it was they were sleeping around with. This is what this is what this person is going to do. It's probably doing reminiscing on the things that you all share, reminiscing on the relationship that you all have shared together. That's what they're thinking about. Going back over the first time you probably made love to this person, the first time you went out with this person, the first uh, text message they got for you, for, for, for you and from you. And they're probably they probably still look at the first message that you sent them. They probably saved say the first telephone message that you sent them on their cell phone. They're, 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 it's like they did you, you know, that they care about you. They watch watch you. <clears throat> excuse me. They watch you not in a in a in a, in a um, stalkish kind of way, but they watch they watch you. They watch your soul. It's like they see you beyond what other people see. They see something deep within you that you don't realize that they see. They see they see you, the real you here, Empress or Emperor, however this resonates. I mean, this is a beautiful read I have here at the bottom. The King of Pentacles. He's getting his money ready. He's thinking about it. I'm going to come out. I got to, I got to fix this. I got to get my life together because I'm going to get my woman. I'm going to tell her how I feel. I'm going to sit her down. If she don't want to listen, I'm going to make her listen. I mean, it, this is it's so, um, it's so, it's so, it's so calm, calming, you know, easy like Sunday morning. That's exactly what it's like. I have here the night of wands. Coming. They are coming for you. Fast. They want to communicate. They want to tell you how they feel. I'm coming back home, I'm coming to get you. I just want to come and talk to you. I want to tell you how I feel. I know I've been a ghost. I've been ghosting you over the past month or so or however long it's been. But I want to talk to you. I want us to get back together. I want us to be together forever. I want us to be together for life. This eight here around these two of pentacles. That's saying that they care about you and they want to spend their lives with you. They're not going to be juggling anytime soon. Because they want to fix what's broke here. Even in the musician, I keep saying musician, the magician part. Even you see that A here also. That's forever. They want you forever. They want you forever here, Empress. Yes, they do. I feel, I feel really, really calm. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's because of my incense burning or whatever, some candles lit, but no, uh, it's very, very calming. This reading is very, very easy, easy. They probably told you, relax, take it easy, relax, you know, 
or maybe they need to take it easy or have taken it or easy. They're balancing out their life. They're balancing out their money. They're balancing out their funds, you know, so they can buy you something very special. Check that food. Very, very special. Here, sorry, talk to my daughter. And the king of cups, the king of cups, <laughs> they're ready to get up out of their chair and they're ready to text you and, tell, and ask you, can I come over? Can we sit down and talk? He ready. He's going to come out, get up out of that chair real soon. Or she's going to get up out of that chair. One of you all is going to make that phone call. Text somebody and say, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. And they're going to come out of it. Okay? I, I'm not even going to say, listen to what they have to say. I'm not going to say um, it may work out. It may not work out. All I'm going to let you know here, Sagittarius, is they're coming back. Okay, something happened to, to them that made them finally get on their mind, make their minds up. Something came back to them. A memory. And I said that a memory. They remembered something. They reminisced, reminisced about a special moment you shared. They probably rem reminisced about a, um, a, a conversation you all had or talked about. And they got tired of being alone. They got tired of, of dealing with people who weren't their equal. And you were. OK, so the, the tower moment hit them and it, it hit them at a time when they were think, really, really thinking hard about you. And, and then and it hit that tower moment went boom. I got to get her back. Or I have to get him back because I miss this person. I love this person. I care about this person. This person never got a fair shot. She didn't know how I felt about her. I never told her how I felt. I tried to show her, but I know that wasn't enough. And I know that I want her back in my life. Or I know that I want him back in my life. They're gonna come with they're gonna come to you correct. They're gonna come to you as, as beautifully as they can possibly come to you. Okay? And they're gonna offer you this heart. They're gonna offer you their heart. They're gonna offer you their love. They're gonna tell you they are sorry. And can I have you back? Can I have you back? Okay. <laughs> and you're just gonna say yes, Sagittarius, say yes. I want you back. I want you back. You're magical to me. You are beautiful to me. And I love you with all of my heart and soul. That's just how beautiful you are to me. Yes. So Sagittarius, this is your reading. This was a beautiful, calm, cool, and collective reading. I hope it resonated because this is a top-notch love, a top-notch relationship. And this, this person who reminisced about your relationship had his tower or her tower moment when they reminisced about the moment you all shared together. Okay. So I hope you all like this reading. Thank you all for being my top viewer for the week. You all have a good evening and I will be back Sunday with your weekly greeting. Okay. Thank you all so very much Sagittarius and you all have a beautiful, beautiful weekend.